Hey guys, Luke Volk here and welcome to another FIFA 21 XBC video. It is Tuesday at 6pm December 22nd and EA have given us a striker Hasum Awa from Olympic Lyonnais. And he looks good. He looks absolutely insane. This is a card that I can actually get very, very excited about. And also, guys, EA have put five more freeze cards into packs. So I'm going to try and review that Giolini card who's come out as a CDM. I think it'd be really, really cool. I'm not too sure if I'm going to review this um, this Alwu card. Uh, I'm not exactly too sure. Of course, his loan is available. And the good thing is, I mean, with Lala there and, and Alwa, you can get like a nice little um, link there. Of course, people that might have in bad pay, there's a nice strong link between them as well. Uh, so already, this could be a very, very good SPC. And only one segment to him as well. I reckon this might be an 85 rated squad. I don't think we've seen any SBC so far for the foot freeze promo that requires an 86 rated squad, although I might be wrong. Uh, but nothing for icons once again today. Um, it leads me to think that are they just going to like forget about icon SBCs again? I'm not too sure, but it is an 85 rated squad with very high chemistry, so it would make sense to, uh, to build a league on team for the fact that you need a league on player. Um, no informs needed though. It's going to come in at just over 100,000 coins, I think. Um, which, which, to be fair, isn't too bad, I think, for the card that you're going to return. In terms of his base stats, he actually looks worth it on, you know, so far for about 100,000 coins. Four star, four stars, nice. High medium's good. Five foot nine, uh, I'm fine with. So far, so good. Pace is is fine. It's not like you know insane, but it's 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 uh, it's solid. His finishing stats are all very very well rounded. Very happy with that. His passing is nice. You could blame him as a cam actually, couldn't you? Oh, he'd be good as a can. This is one of the cards that he's versatile. He doesn't have to be played as a striker. He could play as a centre forward. A can. I'd actually argue, looking at how good his in-game passing is, of course his crossing and free kicks aren't great, but they don't have to be. As a cam, all you need to have is insane vision and short passing, and he's great in that area with uh, 89 vision and 90 short passing. His dribbling is incredible. His physicality stats are not great for a striker. That They're not too bad for a cam. His stamina is fine. Flair, finesse shot, and outside foot shots as traits. That is fantastic. This SBC is really, really good. I'm a big fan of it, and I think, as well, it goes for a fair price. Even if this card is slightly over 100,000 coins, I think he's worth that amount. Because I think this card will play very, very well in game. Look at him. You know, he, the, the, there are no faults to that card. Are that some people would argue, you know, is he a little bit too small? I, I suppose five foot nine for a striker might be slightly too small for some people, but five foot nine as a cam is absolutely perfect. And it's again with the in-game stats. Yes, seventy-four and both strength and aggression might not be the best for a striker, not the worst, but certainly not the best. But if you were to use him as a cam, that strength is is actually not too bad. Uh, this card would be very good as a striker, but even better as a cam. Look at his player traits; it's all absolutely insane player traits. This is an insane card. Insane. I'm surprised that they haven't, because of the fact that he's French from League One, I'm surprised they haven't made him more expensive uh, than, you know, than um, than some of the other SPCs we've had. That is a really, really good card. You know, for example, I mean, you know, let, let's take this Hazard card. Hazard probably isn't even as good as the Alwa card. And off the market, just to buy someone like him, you're going to be spending about 200,000 coins. You know, and you can go and get yourself a uh, an Alra card. Who, yes, would be untradeable, but would be cheaper to complete, and, and is a better card than that than that foot freeze hazard. So this has been weirdly a very well priced, very good price, and an insane card in return. If we do go to League One in terms of strikers, there aren't like too many insane strikers. Of course, there's Kylian Mbappe uh, and Ben Yedder, but they're going to cost you an arm and a leg to be able to buy a card. He's um, Road to the final card is actually wasn't too bad to use in game, but certainly isn't like the main meta uh, in general. But all of a sudden, Alra comes in as as a really good, much more affordable alternative compared to the likes of Mbappe and Ben Yedder, who are going to cost you guys so much coins. Alra all of a sudden becomes a real, real uh, possibility. It's a really, really good card. I'm really happy with that SBC from here. I've got to be honest, I think that is very, very well priced. Let me guys know whether you're going to be doing it in the comments section. I think I've got to do his lone SBC. Whether I'll review him, I'm not too sure. As you can see, there's Dembele, St. Maximan, and Giolini. What I think I want to do is, uh, I probably won't review the Aura card. I'm thinking of buying that Giolini card a little bit later on tonight and giving him a review because I really, really want to use that card. St. Maximan and Dembele. Uh, weird giving us two French strikers in packs as well as a French striker SBC today. I find that very odd. Three French strikers today. 
um, is a bit weird, but uh, even so, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, anything in objectives just before we go, there was nothing for Icon SPCs. I think the Alright SPC was the only thing today. Oh, Foot Freeze Kappa. Once again, in the managerial masterpiece. Uh, assist 8, score in 2, score in 12 separate games, assist in 3 and win 6 matches. And that's a nice card in return. That's cool. So there is something to play for once again over the holiday season, which is good. Nothing in, uh, in foundations. I wonder if we'll be able to upgrade these cards eventually. Like, Will that uh, Van Bergen like, be able to be upgraded to like an 88-rated card in, let's say, like February or March time? That'd be really cool if EA do that. But um, yeah, that, that Aura card SBC, really, really good. I think he's going to be an insane card. Probably better as a cam than as a striker. I still think he'd be good as a striker, but I think he'd be playing even better as a cam. But anyway, guys, we did do, uh, or I have just done before the video started, um, one of the daily SBCs because it gives us a mini 50k pack. So hopefully we can pack one of these foot freeze cards. If we do, that would be insane. We won't get anything. We won't even get a board in the pack, but um, let's just give us a, a very small chance. Uh, and as you can see, uh, I was uh, once again right with no board. Listen, I predict these things. My luck this year, non-existent in the game. I, I just don't have the luck this year, guys. And we pack our row, which is fantastic. That's a bit of a kick in the teeth there by EA. But, um, and Voland as well, who you can get as like a, a card for the for the objectives. But yeah, on the whole, that's a really, really good SBC by EA. But so there probably won't be any icon review tonight, guys. That might come tomorrow instead. But I'm going to try and get that Gilini review out. If he's too expensive or he's extinct, then I might review the Aura cards or maybe a Prime Icon. I haven't quite decided yet. But there will be a player review up on the channel later on tonight. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys later.